Hey guys, so today is not gonna be my usual vlog that I'm doing. It's gonna be something else. Tell me you're ready. So, today I'm gonna make mango flout. So here I bought some graham crackers. It's not such a popular thing in Russia. And here you basically can buy almost in any store. It's like it's very, very popular. Because actually our desserts or any other dishes do not consist of that boy. Also, I have <laughs> also I have sweetened condensed filled milk, a lot of cinnamon, mangoes. And my husband, who's Filipino, he told me that uh, the mangoes have to be this, like very soft ones. Do you see that? I was trying to search for the right mangoes around like 10 minutes. I was touching every mango on the SM light. <laughs> like is it the right one is it the right one is it is it is it good i think that was one good so anyway i bought the three mangoes and i think i have all the ingredients let's start very excited <laughs> tell me a professional how you need to slice the mango okay so you a while ago were doing it like this like this yes you were slicing an onion or something like that yes no filipinos do it different you see the, you see the thing one second i'm gonna Right yes. The stem is, so you cut on top of that and under it, and you have to like make sure that the mango is like lengthwise like this, or like a <laughs> crosswise like this. You know, not like this, but like this. Beautiful. And you slice on top of that, and you just go in. One right? second. You immediately feel the bone once you slice on top of the button. Okay. Right, and just flip it, flip it, flip it. Uh huh. Oh. Exactly. And then you start from the button side from here. No. The whole knife, the whole knife, yeah, exactly, and then just slice carefully. Look, and then how you taught me, mm -hmm. here, you have to look like this. Wait. <laughs> here we go. You won't believe, but I think the hardest part of the whole process of doing the mango float is cutting mangoes down, just super done okay <laughs> you saw me I, I think i was not doing such a great job but you know the the life didn't teach me the life didn't teach me till this point how to cut mangoes in the right way <laughs> So, right now I will try to uh, mix the condensed milk. <laughs> I'm a great cook, no? Wish me luck. I'm not sure it's going somewhere. Let me try more, okay? See you in a few next few days, I guess. Yes, I want to tell you one story. So it was 2020. If you remember, that year was not easy for all of us around the whole world because pandemic time hit. So pandemic time, we living with my husband, who is half Filipino, half Belgium, in Russia. Living there already for a year, and I feel he's getting a little bit kind of homesick. You know, I feel. Um, any Russian food or any European food that he can find in some piece of work doesn't mm, doesn't make him happy anymore. He just he just wanna some local Filipino food. And I'm like, okay, I wanna make you know his life in Russia easier because life in Russia is not always the easiest thing ever. And I'm like, okay, what can I do? And before that I could not cook. In a way, I never cooked. <laughs> I really didn't you know I thought I'm not this kind of girl who wants to cook uh, I have another skills maybe and it's just not for me let's say but uh, for the first time in my life I thought why not to you know why not to try to cook some Filipina dish for him to make him happy so I found also one of their easiest, let's say, <laughs> one of the easiest recipes of um, Filipino desserts, Maha Blanca. The process began, I started to cook Maha Blanca, he like, immediately understood what I'm doing because he was like, oh, I kind of all ingredients for Maha Blanca, I'm like, yes. He was very excited about that 
and a few hours later my hot blanca was done and I saw his um, his happy eyes you know I saw that um, that he really liked that that only a few hours that I spent doing Maha Blanca because it was also my first time doing that and you know every time when it's your first time you don't know the whole steps you were, have some doubts you're not so you're not so sure if you're doing right steps or not right steps and <laughs> I saw him eating that maca blanc. He was like, make a picture, you know, sent to my father in the uh, Philippines. And I did, of course. And, um, and from that time, from that time, one time, me doing maca blanca three years ago, I, my passion, my love for cooking began. Especially for desserts, especially for baking. But everything began from maca blanca. Maca blanca, you know? When you think you cannot do this, when you think that is for sure not for you, even before you never tried that, you just think, no, it's not for me, I don't need that, try, you know, maybe you're gonna like it, maybe you're not gonna like it, and then for sure you will say, yeah, I tried, but I just didn't like it that much. But uh, if you're not trying, you never know. I think it's happening, I think. 10 minutes of my work is happening. Look, 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 look. Come. Yes! Okay, guys, uh, look what I did. I put some cinnamon on top. I think it's going to be nice. But the thing is, like, there's you. The the butter covered all the mangoes, and then the picture is not like that. Do you think it's fine? Yeah. Okay. So two or three hours, maybe. Yeah. No, like more. Okay, like five hours. See A lot of hours. hours. A lot of hours. A lot of hours later. Okay. okay. And hopefully it's going to be nice and tasty and we're going to have it for dessert, okay, yes, cool. today. I feel like it's ready. It's super ready. Well, I guess we have to eat. Oh, yeah. Look. Seven or eight from ten? Give it a nine actually. Nine? Okay, yeah. hello. I would have given it a ten had the grain crackers been smaller. <laughs> I just got nine out of ten. Okay, this is actually very good. My first mango float. Next time we have to be It's not too sweet, very good. It's not too sweet, but it's good, he said. Okay. It's great. This is very good. <laughs> Yes, you okay. Like Thank you. A huge piece. Oh. oh my god, so good. Oh. <laughs> this is really good. Wow. Очень Russian means very tasty. Just let you know. Next time, what should I try to cook? Something with ube. Like something is ube, he says. Ube. You can write some suggestions down in the comment section. Some ube desserts. Desserts? Yeah. Some ube dessert. Or, uh, 